Today's video is dedicated to the channel member Auntie Frankie Clark and they say Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna, chicken and macaroni And if you guys know the rest of that song, let me know in the comment section down below <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Retail Tycoon 2. Well, guys, last episode we kind of had a brief look at some of the vehicles that you can purchase in this game. I've been working really hard. I've got 41,000. And today we're going to buy a brand new vehicle. You guys wanted me to do it, so we're here doing it. And if you guys enjoy Retail Tycoon and see more, then please make sure you smash that like button down below. Guys, if you want me to send this new series, then make sure you subscribe if you haven't, so you are notified that the next episode does come out. But boys, we are back right now. We are back right now. And this is where we last left off. Oh, is there some, some beans floating in the sky right now? That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Or is that a soup? I think it's a soup. Uh, we're expanding our store right now, which is pretty sweet. We've got room to put another cash register if it needs be. But we've got some type of a basic layout. We've got the freezer and refrigerator items over here. The shelves over here. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go a little bit further. This dude's like, whoa. How you doing, my boy? How you doing? It's like, whoa. Is he even going, whoa. There's a damn folio in the game. Or, whoa. This store is amazing. And I don't think it's about the store being amazing. I want to try and also expand the uh, area right here, which should be pretty good. So we'll see what happens. So let's spawn a truck then. Spawn that bad boy in. We're going to jump into it. And we're going to drive to the vehicle store. Because your boy is about to purchase an amazing vehicle. That's going to get me so much more stuff, right? Oh, the, the, oh my goodness me, the brakes on that are terrible right now. So I've got 41,000. Now, there's many ways in which I can do this. I could either buy a slightly bigger truck and then work our way up to the top. Or I can go just go to hell with it and then buy the large box truck. Capacity of cargo, 2,000. <laughs> which does mean I'll have 21,000 remaining to do some more expansions. Crazy. But again, like I said, it does mean, one, I can get a whole lot more cargo. Two... Make a whole lot more money. Free. Become the richest tycoonist in the whole entire world. Yeah, I'm going to buy the big one. I'm going to buy the big one. Right. We're going to buy it. Hopefully, I don't crash it. Because you just never know what's going to happen. Right. So, apparently, this can do a top speed of 100. The last one could do 64. Oh, my goodness me. It is kind of fast. It is kind of quick right now. Right. Was this my place? Um. No, that's not even my store. Mm. <laughs> Sonic, it's not even your store, boy. Get to your store right now. Damn folio. Right, this is quite fast and quite big. I can't believe I just bought a big boy truck. Oh my goodness me. I think that's going to be my stopping technique half the time. Crashing into a building. Yeah, I can see that happening quite a bit right now. So, let's finally spend some money. I mean, more than I have done right now. So, build mode then. We're actually going to go to our um, shelves right now. Shelving. And we're going to add a little bit more of everything that we currently have in. So drop you and you there. So we've got three of them. We're going to get some refrigerated items just here. So we'll do two more of them there. We get our freezer display here. Which we'll do a set of four just like that. And then we'll get some more shelving down as well there. There. Like that. Uh, I think a dude's about to drive his car. This is not a drive through restaurant, you damn folio. And I think I might get in... Uh, another cash register. If I span it around this way. If I put it there. That should be the perfect spacing, right? Oh, that dude's card has glitched out as I placed it down. Yeah, which gives me a little bit more room over here. For the moment. And I could place down other types of shelving. But I don't want to spend any more just yet on shelving stuff. Simply because. With that 13,000. I can then buy a load of stock. To stock the store. But it looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think it does look pretty good. So we've got a nice little system. We've got, we got, we've got organization, don't we, really? Oh, we can get, like, elevators and escalators. Whatever you want to call them. Um, right. Where is the infrastructure? Okay, I need more storage like this. So drop one there. Spin that one around. Drop it there. Drop that there. We have a dumpster. 
Uh, place to put your garbage in. It doesn't really have a use yet. So do I place it in here or not? I could place it just there. It's more of a, like a design aspect. And let's extend the car park too. So that means I can get then free cars pull up. But I'm thinking with the tiles. Um, how much do we kind of go that distance? Bam. If I go right to the edge like that. Really extending my car park right now. Um, can I... Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's going to pretty much stick like this. Oh, okay. Don't spend any more money, Cindy. I can just realize i got 5,000 left. I want to use that to buy products. So get out of here, boy. Get out of here right now. So let's stock the shelves then. So we got eggs in that one. Uh, I can put eggs. Wait, hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Milk. Right. There's nothing else I can put on there, is there? Okay, so it's, it's literally all going to be milk at this point. <laughs> Uh, eggs here, here, and here. Cold food here, which is all steaks right now, there and there. We have, bam, canned fruit, and bam, canned veggies. So that's really all I've got at the minute. It's not a huge kind of exciting range just yet, but it's more that I can sell, more I can store, and hopefully more customers I can get coming in. So I need to hire an additional uh, cashier. So hire them. There we go. And they're walking in right now, so I can then pretty much have two people in the checkout system. I've got one restocker, but I need to buy a ton of stuff right now. I really, really do. So let's get out of this mode then. We're back in. And let's go jump in your boy's brand new truck. Can I get in it? Yes. So let's go and take um, a little trip to the dock area. Now I found out and I realized and I feel like such a folio right now. Where I thought it was a kind of a glitch where you order like so much of something and it gives you double. That weren't the case. What I found out was uh, when you kind of, um, you know, buy it, it has a unit size and I didn't realize and now I feel really, really stupid. But we don't talk about that, okay guys? We don't talk about that. Uh, they need to sort something out with this corner system. Because everybody that drives down here crashes into this barrier. So I feel like either make the brakes better on the vehicle or re completely redesign this whole system. Because nobody nobody does it, does they? Nobody gets it just right. Everyone already, already crashes. But again, the game's in beta, boy. You need to calm down. Right, pulling right up right now. So then I can buy some stuff. So canned food. If I bought 100, I'm spending $1,000. Bam, I do it. Cold food, if I buy 100, I'm spending 150. So I'll buy two lots, two lots of 100 each. So technically, I've got 200 canned food, 200 cold food. And that is then pretty much all your boy's money gone right there. Is that dude trying to get in the back of my truck right now? Oh, he's stealing, boys. Oh, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost went off the edge of the uh, finger then. That would have been... What happens if I drive the truck off the edge? Do I lose all the products I just purchased? That gives me anxiety if that is the case. That really does. But how well is this get going up here? Mm, I mean, it feels like he's got a little bit more power, but I don't know how true that is. That dude's got a huge store. Oh, I like what he's done there. He's got like little ledges and stuff that overhang. I might steal that idea at some point. Right, in we go. Skirt, skirt. And we're going to unload the truck. So truck's been unloaded, which now means my restocker can run around like a crazy fool. And he can literally fill up now all of the shelves. All of the shelves. And what I like to do as well is sometimes I like to go into that free camera mode. Because it feels so much easier and better to kind of visually see what's going down. So where's my restocker? Ah, they're over here. So eggs are on the scene. Now he's getting the milk up there. How much do I have in storage? 472 remaining. So you can pretty much fill the majority of them all up and be able to sell everything. So, man, if you think about it right, think about it logically. We spent, well, we bought 200 of each. So we spent 2,000 on the canned food. Once all of it's sold, we get 4,000 back, which means we made a two grand profit. We spent 3,000 on all of the cold food, which when we sell it all, we get 6,000 back. We make a uh, free grand profit. So if we sell everything that we just purchased, we'll make 5,000 profit. Quick maths right there. And I've never seen my store look so busy. Well, it doesn't really look that busy, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. 
Right, is everything now on the shelf? Yeah, everything they've purchased now on the shelf. It didn't even get to do any steaks. No! Damn fool. Right, build mode anyway. Uh, shelving. Now, if I was to buy any of this, we've got all that there. We have um, floor displays, which are 250 a pop. And then we have electronic tables. Now, let's do... Hmm. Let's do two electronic tables. And then we do some floor displays. So, or should I do one? We'll do one floor display there. No idea what we can throw onto it, so let's kind of find out. So if I go to stock shelves, um, so floor displays equal what? We have toys, we have large electronics gone there. Okay, got you. Small electronics gone there. So I could do iPhones and I could do laptops. Pretty good. Uh, large electronics. Oh, we've done that. Small appliances also gone. Okay, so we need a lot of those shelves. I take it's the large appliances, isn't it? Yeah. So what should we go for? Um, refrigerators, stoves, dishwashers, washing machine. Let's go for refrigerators. There we go. And I just need to buy some of them, don't I? But they're in place anyway. It's all in place right now. Ready for me to buy. But I need the money. I need money. So how much would it cost to actually buy, like, that stuff? So, small electronics is 750 No. No, 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 no. It's 400 Buying 10 is 4000 5 is 2000 Expensive. But then large appliances... Whew, damn, Sediac! <laughs> You think you're made of money, boy? You ain't made of money right now. Damn. Right, that just got expensive real quick right there. Real quick right there. But do you see how much money we make on those? Damn. Is anything that we make more than double the money? So toys, you double your money. Canned food, you double your money. Cold food, you double your money. Now, everything else, you don't double your money. Which is fair enough, but... When you sell it, you, it's high value, value items you're selling, isn't it, really? It is high value items, so that's kind of interesting. Now, the question is, the question is, do I now need to focus on extending the car park to get more customers in? Because, obviously, rather than filling up the store with more products, I'm going to sell those products anyway. But if i got more customers coming in, I sell the products quicker, is the big one, isn't it? That is then the big one. Right, I want to go see this dude's store. Oh, and he got hit by a car. I want to go see this dude's store over here right now because the entrance looks really, really cool. I like the idea. It looks like he's got these little pillars in and this little overhang on the roof. Looks so good. So let me take a little look inside. So what kind of style is he going for then? A little check out over there. All the toys on the shelves look pretty nice. Got the eggs and the milk in there. Looks pretty good. Employees only. So he has, oh, a double door system going in. I like it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of how he's done the front, though. Which means his store that's on, on the upstairs can overhang the bottom. Oh, that's good. Now, the dude over here has a huge store. Now, he has the same kind of idea with the pillars. And then um, kind of have parking underneath. I like this idea. So you can literally... Wait, the whole parking's underneath. Now, this... Wait... Is this a different store? This is the same store at the back. Oh my goodness me. I thought this was something completely different. He's building like a, like, I don't know what he's building right now, but that is so cool. I never thought to do something like that. But this reminds me of like in the UK, we have a superstore called Tesco and all the ones I've been to now, it's not all of them, but the ones in like urban, like built up areas in the cities have a car park underneath the building like this. And then you walk into the escalator and you go up the escalator and you do your shopping then. So, you've got all electronics up here right now. How do you get to that little section that crosses over? Through here, which, by the looks of it, it's his stock room. This is so cool. This is so cool right now. And then he has his little garage doors there, his garage doors to unload. He has, like, a little loading bay he's created. I love that idea. I really, really love that idea of, like, kind of creating, like, like a superstore. Not just... You know, like what you kind of get from the basic. 
a car park there. You can literally go to town. That changes how I want to approach building my own store. It really does. It really does right now. So we need these guys to make us some more sweet, sweet cash. Sweet, sweet cash. So what is the cheapest thing I can buy of the new items? It will be the small electronics. I can buy two of them. Well, I can buy five of them for 2,000. I mean, I can do a custom number. You know, that is always an option I can kind of throw in. Or do I spend the money? How much for the next infrastructure of the car park? It's 3,000. Tough decisions, really, isn't it? It's tough decisions. But we're going to jump back into the truck anyway. And I'm going to buy... Uh, what was it again, sorry? Some small electronics. Now, I'm going to make 350 profit from selling it. But the difference is, you buy it in small quantities. There is a high price you get back from it. You're not doubling your money or anything like that, which is fair enough. That's okay. But if I managed to sell... If I sold, like, a steak... I'm making $15. If I sold a computer or an iPhone, I'm making $350. You can see which one I would rather sell. Also, this truck has a very terrible turning circle right now. Shocking, mate. Absolutely shocking right now. So we're pulling up anyway. And we just got to wait right now until your boy has... I mean, I, I could buy the five or I could put in four. One, 1,600. I just got to wait for them to make me 1,600. It's like, is anybody even buying anything right now? Can somebody please buy my egg, my milk, my steaks, my my, my tinned fruit and vegetables? Uh, oh, wait, okay, someone did buy something. I just need $10. $10! That's all, Oh, there we go. Sweet. <laughs> right, we buy. We buy right now, which is only four. I know it's only four. But you times the four by the 350 profit that you can make off each item. Yeah. Enough said. Enough said. That's easy money back. I'll be racing this dude right now. My truck is so much more quicker than yours. Oh, damn. When you can compare this truck going up the hill compared to that truck. It is pretty quick, but it does catch me up as time goes on. Dude, you're going to flip my truck over. Can I see your insurance details? We had a mega crash right there. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. Right, hold on, pull it up. Skirt, skirt. Ooh, sliding all over the place, this truck. Uh, right, sweet, sweet, sweet. So we should now see the restockers. What do you reckon they'll do? Do you reckon they'll pick the computers or the iPhones? I'm going to say they're going to pick the computers first. Here comes my restocker right now. Aha! Yes. No, they picked the iPhones. Oh, snap, I didn't realize the table both side. Ah, okay. But well, we have four there, so we can actually kind of watch and see if anybody buys one. And then gives me a sweet, sweet, sweet 350 profit. Where's that dude running around to right now? They're going around to the back. I think it's because of the way the table's placed, isn't it? Yeah. Anybody want to buy the iPhones? Please. Please, guys, buy my iPhones. I give you a good deal. They have lots of storage. Forget 5G. They've got 6G. See, if I if I make up lies, maybe they'll buy one. They contain 5G. They've got two cameras on the front, as you can see right now. They've got a gazillion cameras on the back. They're super speed. Um, Would you like to buy one? Nobody wants to buy one? Nobody wants to buy one. It's a sad day. It is a super sad day right now. Can somebody please buy a freaking iPhone off me. That is all I'm asking right now. That is all your boy is asking. Oh, she's going straight for the iPhones. Yeah, you know you want to buy an iPhone. Nope, she didn't want to buy an iPhone. Uh, this dude with the ponytail. It could be a lady, I don't know. Wants to buy, no. Hey, you want to buy an iPhone? No? Nobody wants to buy my phones. The Senimobiles. Or mobiles. Um, guys, have good iPhones. <sighs> Nobody wants to buy one. I just want to make a free 50 profit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's probably one of those things. Once I, you know, up my parking lot, get more customers coming in, then I start upping my chances of being able to sell more products. 
But I love to know the reasons why they come in and they don't buy anything and walk out. Because in the first Retail Tycoon, they kind of the, the customers said stuff. They gave you like reviews and whatnot, and you kind of like had a rating. So I can't wait until that's implemented in this game. That would be really, really handy. Is she going to check out the phones? No, not checking out the phones. Not checking out the phones. Hmm. Money's really slowed down now at this point. It really has. I need to focus on getting all the good stuff. All the good stuff. But guys, we're getting it for here anyway. So next episode then, I think what, what we're trying to focus on right now is just bringing in enough cash money moolah. We'll extend the car park anyway, get more customers coming in. And I wonder, is there a limit on how many parking spaces you can place down? I'm not too sure, but I would quite like to know. We'll have to get by more stock. We'll just try and literally have all the stock we need on all the shelves. Obviously, you know, makes sense. But like, I'm, I've got empty shelves. Just keep buying all the stuff so my shelves are consistently filled up. Then when they come in, there's no empty shelves and they can't moan or complain or anything like that. But we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.